$500 billion from it, decreasing the access and quality of care that seniors can expect to receive, yet we hear about strengthening Medicare. Oh, there were 16,500 IRS agents added to the federal government that we get to pay for under this bill. They took over the student loan program and the health care bill, which is an important part of health care, as we all know. They, the federal government, our limited federal government, mandated that an American citizen must purchase a product from a private company or they will find you. They don't have the authority to do that. Never in a million years do they have the authority to do that. Keep your hands off of our health care. That we don't want to be like every other country. I'm glad we're the one that doesn't have it because we're better than every other country. We're magnificent. going out of business. Premiums are already going up next year 18 to 55 percent as employers talk about already dropping their employees. This bill must be defunded and repealed. We need court reform. Representative Finkler stood here in the town hall and told you she wouldn't vote for a bill that didn't have court reform and then went back to Washington and voted for a bill that didn't have court reform. Uh, the lives are starting to pile along themselves now. Tort reform, purchase of insurance across state lines, the individual ownership of health insurance, get the government's hands off of it so the costs can go down. Thank you very much. Uh, your, your chance to promote this, Skippers? Uh, you know, there's so many lines, I don't even know where to start. strongest tort reform laws in the country. The $50 million, that may not be a lot of money for Mr. Kelly, but the $50 million to make sure that we, we increase the states that have proven that tort reform is successful, that is included in the legislation. Just because Mr. Kelly said Thank it's true, so doesn't mean that it's true. Woo! I should have said they were doing a good job. Okay, the next question is Mr. Kelly, and, and by the way, for those of you who are on your watches, this is uh, scheduled for about an hour, so we're getting close to the, the end of our questions here. We went by very quickly, didn't we? Okay, now this next question first goes to Mr. Kelly. We have been hearing a lot about fair tax and flat tax. What do you think about those proposals in relation to the income tax? Sure. We need a 10% flat tax. That's what we need. The elimination of every single other federal tax in a 10% flat tax. That the land of the free has the second highest corporate tax rate in the world is not only embarrassing, it's bankrupting this economy. Because you don't have to do business in the United States of America anymore. All It's such a global economy, you can be in China tomorrow and we punish you here. And that's what we do. Our taxation, regulation, litigation, we punish business, punish business, punish business. And then when they leave, we have these self-righteous politicians that say they're sending jobs overseas. Or they pretend that, or they treat us as if we're fools and say tax cuts for corporations. Corporations don't pay taxes. They pass those taxes along and the cost of the goods and services to the consumer. They don't shrug and take it on the chip when we drop a corporate tax rate on them. We pay more for every single thing that we buy. Everything that we buy. A 10% flat tax is what we need in this country. That is what will get this country going forward. Also, capital gains taxes. We're about to increase them to 25%. There's $12 trillion in investment sitting outside of the United States of America that could come back in here if we would just welcome them, but we don't. Instead, we have communist China telling us about free markets. We have socialist European countries telling us to stop spending money. And we just keep spending. We've added more debt in the last 19 months than every president from George Washington to Ronald Reagan combined. If we don't stop spending and get our tax structure in line, we are finished. But the good news is we can. We have the infrastructure in place if we win elections. Stop sending big taxing politicians to Washington. We will be just fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 